Hey gamers, welcome back to another episode of Coffee Talk 2. Today we are doing day 5, aka episode 5. Today I have with me Adobo. Adobo! We have Bard. Hello. And then we have, I guess, Simon. <laughs> well, that's just rude. Too bad. Anyway, let's see. The Evening Whispers. Petition to combine Halloween and Christmas games traction. Why? Wait, actually, yeah, why? What? Tactical survival game. Krieg's Front 4, Final Front, set to release next year. Belltown Man caught after attempting to outrun police with a Segway. What? This sounds like Florida Man headlines right now. Anyway. Oh no. Seems like we're out of ginger. Uh-oh. Ah. Not me talking to myself. Mr. Hyde, welcome. Hello, it's a. It's nice to see you again. How are you? No. Oh, well, I'm just here. How about you? You seem a little preoccupied. Right. Sorry about that. I just learned where to ginger. Oh. I made a mistake on the weekly order sheet. And the remaining roots I have are no longer fit for consumption. T -t -t. Sounds like a rookie mistake, I'd say. I know, I'm ashamed. Our storage system is having problems because of recent power surges. Alas, I'll stock up at the farmer's market tomorrow. Sounds like a plan. You're really busy as usual, I see. Yes, well... Nothing wrong with a slow day or two from time to time. Although it's been quite a week, if I may so my say if I may say so myself. Oh. Well, I'm listening. Pardon? You're weak. Tell me about it. Uh. Hide! Stop flirting with me, bro. Stop. Stop doing that. Hmm. I'm not even sure where to start. Try anywhere. After all, there's no way for me to correct an unheard story, am I right? Right. Ah. Sorry. <laughs> well, the most notable problem recently would be these severe thunderstorms. Sometimes they cause our power to short out, which messes with the machines. So in case it happens again, my apologies. I see. Warning duly noted. There's also been this ongoing car vandalism in the neighborhood. Apparently there's a serial deflator of tires on the loose. Officer Georgie was the one who informed me about it. We've also got a lot of new customers. And I think that's about it. Sounds eventful, even if not terribly riveting. Now, regarding the car vandalism you spoke about, well, I drove here. To what extent should I be concerned about it? Mm, I wish I could inform you with confidence. Unfortunately, I don't know much about it, so... Uh, I can answer that. There's nothing to worry about. Your car is going to be fine. Officer Georgie! Welcome. Hey, it's I. I managed to track and narrow down the Vandal Strike Zone, you see. Because the culprit seems to have a favorite spot. Really? Yeah, and it's nowhere near here. Miss Riona told me her car was affected as well, by the way. That's so. If she comes back, can you ask her where she parked? Will do. I appreciate it. Anyway, my investigation's still ongoing, but I'd say this area is pretty safe. So you can relax. I see. Anyway, good evening, y'all. Sorry for blocking the entryway earlier. I was finishing off my last cigarette. 
Because it's time to start a new one. <laughs> Do you mind? Not at all. Mr. Hyde, meet Officer Georgie. He's in charge of the night patrols around here. Cheers. Officer Georgie. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Off <laughs> Officer Georgie, meet Mr. Hyde. Our occasional guest from Los Angeles. A friend of Mr. Gala. Oh. The big hospital guy. And I guess I've seen you around a bunch. Hey, Los Angelino. I get eh? <laughs> Not much for longer, though. Oh, uh, uh, Not for much longer, though. Oh? I'm in the process of finalizing my move back here with my modeling agency. That's wonderful news. You lived here before? Mm-hmm. For about 40 years. When did you move to L.A., then? Around 20 years ago. Right. Huh. Well, let's just say I'm nowhere near as young as I look. Oh. Uh, okay. Models, vampires, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> and as a native Seattle, I let me be the first to welcome you back. We got smog and dour skies. But at least our coffee is second to none. Right, it's a? I'll let you be the judge of that. Thanks for the warm welcome. Then, have you moved in already, or...? Not yet. Oh, that. Not yet. Preparations still need to be made as the property I've chosen. At the property I've chosen. I wouldn't even think of packing until it's halfway done. Makes sense. That being said, I'll be here to oversee the construction for a while. If you ever need help, let me know. Can't do much by myself, but I can find a few guys who can. Although it won't be necessary, I appreciate the gesture. It's funny. What is? Quite frankly, the police force and I had some of a... something of a... contentious relationship in the past. Uh-oh. As a slap on the wrist and let's call it a day type of thing? Or the catch you, catch me kind? <laughs> All I can say is, live long enough, you'll try everything. Those are bygone years, of course. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> so, does anyone want something to drink? Of course. Naturally. It auto-skipped through those, it didn't even let me <laughs> After you. Well, a public servant should put the citizens first. So, after you? How idealistic. But I insist. After all, I'm still considering my options. Well then, in that case... What will it be, officer? Just give me something nice, I'd say. You alright? I'm not that great, honestly. What happened? Never mind that for now. I got a question for you. Did you, by any chance, see a lighter lying around? Oh. Yes, I did. I have it with me. Phew, that's a relief. Okay, it's a listen carefully. I need you to take this very, very seriously. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. I'll need that lighter back, okay? Okay. I mean it. I need it back. Or this streak of bad luck won't end. Pardon? Just talking to myself. Okay. Yeah, I understand. I appreciate it. Would you like anything to drink? 
just black coffee for me, please. But lightly sweetened. And he can't have milk because he's lactose intolerant. So... I think that would make sense. Um... Do I have anything on the brew pad? Probably not. Um... Hmm... Okay, guess not. Okay. The answer is no. I think that would be it, though. Sweet coffee. Alright, then. Let's get his lighter. I imagine that's it. I don't see why it would be something else. Oh, finally. Hello, old friend. Thanks, I'd say. I suppose I owe you an explanation. I told you before, right? This lighter's my lucky charm. When it goes missing, my luck gets really dicey. Almost got hit by a falling fan at work. Broke the missus' favorite mug. Nearly swerved my car in the sidewalk because a black cat jumped into my lane. A black cat. Not even a raccoon. I swear, I'm not making this up. <laughs> if that wasn't a sign, I don't know what is. And well, daughter's still mad at me too. Glad to have this back. Thanks for keeping it safe for me, it's say. You're very welcome. Here's your sweet coffee to sweeten your evening, officer. Cheers, it's say. Uh, that really hits the spot. I'm glad to hear that. Ready to make your order? Not quite. Do you have any suggestions? Ah, uh, hmm. We have a couple of new teas if you're interested. Oh? There are butterfly pea and hibiscus flowers. Hibiscus, huh? Not an ingredient that's easily palatable when used in a hot beverage. Perfect. Make me something with it. Are you sure? We are missing some ingredients tonight. Do you have any specifics in mind? Oh, hi! Don't do this to me! Oh. I'll let you choose for me. Just make it red and who knows. Maybe it can be my new blood wine. Blood wine? It's a fake blood cocktail I used to get here. Back when it was still a bar. Ah, I see. Make me a bold red drink. I like to see what you can come up with. Blood. Um. Well, okay. This is not going to make any sense. But blood tastes like metallic, so... Um, 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 okay, hold on. I, I was going somewhere with that. Metallic can taste like kind of acidic, so. Oh no. What did I do? <laughs> oh no, oh no. Lemon hibiscus? Well, he wanted something red, so definitely not that. Bold red drink. Um. Well, that's very red. Um. If that's not what he wants, then I don't. I don't know how to play this game. Here you go, sir. <gasps> Forget to give items to the intended recipients at least once. What? Wait.
here you go, sir. Something red. So this is a drink you thought I might like. Honestly, I'm not entirely confident, but this is the best I can do tonight. Oh, looks peculiar enough. Hmm. How is it? It's tart. Stringent. Do you like it? You tell me. Uh, and I was looking forward to it. No! No. 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 No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. No. I, I can't accept this. I can't accept this. No. What? No. No, no, no. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No. <sighs> I'm so angry. Good. I'm angry. I'm angry. I think, I think that... We can do it. You have the power of time travel. <laughs> yeah, I think it may. I think the achievement may have been related to the drink, not the item. No, it was related to the item. I, I did give him the wrong drink, though. But how am I supposed to know that that's his key card? He hasn't been here once. Hmm. Ugh, oh, this is dumb. Okay, give me a moment. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna do it myself. Ugh, oh, I'm so mad. I'm so mad. How am I supposed to know that that's his? He's never been here. Wait. Am I forgetting something? I don't remember specifically, but maybe they got that from Gala and he said he was friends with Gala. But other well, than no. that, I Well, no. He is friends with Gala, but... Oh. Okay. I don't like cheating, but this really pissed me off. I'm sorry. <laughs> so angry. Game's cheating me. I'm mad. Nobody's gonna get in between me and my hide. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Nope. Salty. Sorry. Goodness. Okay. So, this, and then some honey. <sighs> I'm, I'm still fuming. Okay. It's fine. How was I supposed to know? That's what- I'll have to look back on it later. We already went through this part. Goodness. Ah! <gasps> Makes me angry. Okay. Gib. Gib. Okay. Inya minya inya minya. Hmm. That's Gala's, isn't it? The apartment key? Bruh! I see. So he lost it here. In fact, he called me this morning asking if I was in the city. I didn't tell him I was in Seattle, though. So the call was a surprise. Why did he call, you ask? Well, simply because I have a spare key. I'll take this off you and bring it to him, then. I will be sure to let him know. Alright, thank you. Here you go, sir. Something red. 
So this is a drink you thought I might like? Honestly, I'm not even entirely confident, but this is the best I can do tonight. It looks peculiar enough. Hmm. How is it? It's dark. Strange it. Do you like it? You tell me. Ah, and I was looking forward to it. I'm sorry, this isn't what you expected. Well, you did what I asked, so no need for apologies. Next time, you could try making me something that doesn't taste like hay juice. I need some boldness. Something that can leave a mark in me. There's only one hibiscus drink that I've enjoyed. I'm curious to see if you can come close. I will try my best next time. Welcome. Bruh. Hey, kid. There. Ugh. Dang. Oh. Oh dang, hello it's a Pops, nice to see you again. What's up? What's going on? What's going on with you? Me? Oh well nothing. Nothing much. You know what? Let me move over there. <laughs> there we go. Sorry about earlier. I was preoccupied. No problem. Is everything all right? Yeah, of course. I'm always all right. Always. Because I'm a very lucky dude. Speaking of luck. Did the lady ever come back? Miss Riona? Yeah, she did. Really? Did you manage her to give her Did you manage to give her my stuff? I did. I gave her your written contact info. Okay, okay. Cool. She didn't throw it away, did she? As far as I know, I don't think so. Great. You tried to reach out to the Sprana lass? That's right, Pops. I still feel uneasy about what- about how that day went. So, I just want to apologize for- for something, you know? Okay. So I guess I just have to wait for her to contact me, huh? I think so, yeah. But what if she doesn't contact me? What should I do? And that's that. That's her choice. You're so right, Pops. <laughs> didn't think of someone. Think, well, didn't think of you as someone who would have trouble reaching out to people like this. <laughs> I know, right? It is what it is. Okay then, I'll wait. Any hoodle? It's nice to see you again, Pops. <laughs> Likewise, kid. Hello to you too, uh, sir. Hide. That's old. Wait, so you're really that hide? The supermodel hide? Big shot, eh? <laughs> oh man, oh boy. Never thought I'd randomly see you in a place like this. No offense to you, it's a... Well... I follow your socials, man. Big fan. I especially love the Timeless series you did for Boundless. Hmm. That's an old one. Boundless? It was a lifestyle magazine, no longer in print. Because everything is online these days. What was the series about? It was a photo series I modeled for. A bit of an avant-garde shoot. 
They were originally set to be displayed in a time travel themed showcase. Alas, the exhibition fell through. So they were rethemed and put in the magazine instead. Yeah, those were awesome. Hmm. Like how the series showed peak fashion through the times. If the designs were so contemporary. Timeless, even. Pun intended. I hate him. Look how he winks. You see that? Oh. I'd love to see the one. Wait, let me show you a couple pics from it. It looks great there, colorless or not. Oh, wow. You looked amazing, Mr. Hyde. Still do. Of course. It was so cool. It inspired me to find my own style, too. I'm partial to the 80s inspired look myself. Really? I can't tell. It's my jacket collection. <laughs> Glad I helped. I did enjoy experiencing some of those times again. Even if only in garment form. Even if I was left with a melancholy feeling. But I digress. Hmm? Would you like to order anything? Oh yeah, of course. Oh, by the way. Is pure matcha supposed to make you feel woozy? Pardon? I tried drinking some before lunch a couple days ago. I felt a tad nauseous. Did you have breakfast? Nope. It's really strong tea, so it still shouldn't be consumed on an empty stomach. Ah. Uh. Lucas doesn't know how to follow instructions. <laughs> Amazing. That was the main takeaway from our conversation, wasn't it? Duly noted. Thanks. Then, can I get a pumpkin latte? Uh... Sorry, we don't have that here. Ah, oh, for real? Oh, yeah. No, you don't need pumpkin to make it, right? This guy. Well, I've heard that before. Yep, but I have an open mind. I just don't want anything plain tonight. How about making me something based off a of pumpkin latte with what you have? Oh, I hate this guy. I would imagine that's what it is. Um... Because it's like pumpkin spice latte, so... I don't know. Wow! It's almost like... Ugh. Jeez. Whatever. Wait, do I need to give him anything? No. That's not for you. That's for Amanda, I think. Okay. Sir... A cinnamon latte, warm and sweet, just for you. Sounds good. Mm-mm, good call on the cinnamon. Is it the star spice of the fall season? Oh, wait, wait, blah. It is the... Brain. Please! It is the star spice of the season- of the fall- Ah! It is the star spice of the fall season, after all. Down with my soul. Oh yeah, you're right. Like pumpkin lattes. The warmth chews me right up. Thanks, Itse. Don't mention it. So, what's the matter? Huh? Why do you need cheering up, kid? Oh, about that. Just the usual work stuff. A few disagreements here and there, you know. Any working team will eventually have them once or twice, right? Right. 
What do you do? I'm a vlogger slash influencer. Aww. I review a lot of lifestyle things like fashion, places, food, etc. on the social media. Sometimes I do skits and such on my channels too. And pranks also? No, no, Popsa. No way. Real talk though, I actually hate pranks. I didn't say it before, but I hate them. A lot. Is that so? I just think they're the lowest form of entertainment. Just cheap thrills at the expense of others. Right. But yeah, getting off topic here, sorry. So you're essentially the creator and the host of your show. What does your team do? My team helps me edit and secure sponsors. And massively boost the production quality. They're great, I own lots. Do you think they're doing well? Do you think you're doing well? Yeah, I mean, I think so. We get by pretty well. I currently reside in LA. For real? I did too before I moved here. Why did you move? Why I moved? Ha! <laughs> I mean... Because I hated it there? Not the crap on where you live, sir. I just think LA is not for me. No offense taken. Why did you hate it there? It's a long and stupid story. Trust me, you don't want to hear it. Anyway, sorry for the tangent. You were saying? I've been noticing an influx of newcomers, though. They're loud, young, and brazen. Just like you. Yeah? The fact that you're able to make something of yourself out of such mundane nonsense. I'd say you're doing pretty well. So what's the issue? Well... I've talked about my channel situation here before, right? Yeah, you said your views were dwindling. Come on, dwindling might be a bit overkill, but yeah. That's why my team and I are trying to figure out what to do. Trying to keep the show fresh, you know? Truthfully, though, I've been wanting to change the show's direction for a while now. I even promised myself last year. Once I got a certain number of views, I was just gonna do it. Was? Well, uh, I've always wanted to do a talent showcase segment, you know? So I could help elevate others like me. Others like you? Yeah. Like the soprano lady from before. Like those dwarf actors and actresses in TV shows. We all actually kind of have something in common. Do you know what it is? I'll make it easier for you. Think about satyrs, for example. And say, when you first, when you hear about us, what's the first thing that comes to your mind? Hmm. Don't think too hard now. Just say anything off the top of your head. How about you, Pops, sir? 
probably partying, recklessness, alcoholism, or a joke, right? Is that what you think? Nope. But that's what most of society thinks. In the same way, society views Le Lady Riona as a bad luck personified. All just because she happens to be a banshee. Besides, society is awful at judging people. The immediate trust for those they ha have for those who have money, compared to those who had started from zero. You know what I mean? I mean, I get it, you know? Etiquette, social cues and awareness, that sort of thing. What nurtures you when growing up reflects these things. That's what most people like to assume anyways. And like, I get it. Nobody has time to learn about everything. So we go by impressions. But as someone who started from zero and now, the difference in how people treat me is so dang stark. So dang stark that it doesn't feel all that great, you know? Of course. So yeah, I wanted to carve a space in my work. A place where I could give exposure to those who might not get it otherwise. Then once again I ask you, what is the issue? My team thinks my segment ID is too risky. Don't fix what's not broken, they said. They just want me to improve what I have been doing. Then do you agree? I mean, they're not wrong. The risk is real. After all, I'm not responsible only for myself. I've got a whole team depending on me now. That's why I'm trying to find a compromise. At least, until we become so big, any slight changes won't affect us as much. Will the world wait for you, though, I wonder? Huh? Will the world wait for you to be ready? Have you ever asked yourself that? Um... You see, making choices is always a matter of priority. As you grow, your stake increases, along with your responsibilities. As such, your excuses will continue to pile up. But, uh, given the pace at which you're going right now, I see your idealistic dream is unlikely to be realized. However, if it's enough for you to just have good intentions, well, that's another story. Well, a little blunt, aren't we? <laughs> Am I wrong, though? I love Hyde. It is a perspective. You know, one of many. I admit, I don't know much about the entertainment biz. But you've gotten this far, boy. Because all along, you've been motivated by that specific goal in mind, right? Ain't that right? Yeah. And why I wouldn't dismiss his intent so easily. Oh, that's why I wouldn't dismiss his intent. He's... Well, you're probably just a bit lost right now. Do you think I should have been gentle with him? Nah. I didn't do the whipping. Ay, ay, ay. I would not have worded that that way. <laughs> Jeez, Lucas. Those words were hard to swallow, but I needed to hear him. Are you okay? Uh-huh. Well... There's a lot I need to think about. So, I should go. Nice seeing you, Pops. And thanks for your advice, sir. It's it. Thank you, too. Hang in there. Yeah, y'all too. See you around.
Well, I've stayed too long already. So I better go do my work now. Don't want to get my pay, Doc, do you see? Nice meeting you, Hyde. We'll see each other more often soon, I'm sure. Hopefully nothing work-related. Have a good night, officer. You too, I'd say. Be safe out there, officer. Will do. Until next time. I suppose I should leave as well. I'll be back before long, though. Please do. Mm -hmm. Is there something wrong? Looks like the officer forgot his lighter again. AGAIN?! Georgie! Bro, I'm just about to not give it back. Oh my... Wow. It exudes an interest... Oh my gosh. Ah! Georgie! Oh, what a curse. Oh no, you're right. I'll keep it for him. Thank you. Alright then. Have a good evening yourself. It's a safe trip out there, Mr. Hyde. Alrighty, guys. That's gonna be it for episode 5. If you guys enjoyed, please hit that subscribe button. 82% of you aren't subscribed and you're living here rent-free through my suffering. And I would really, really appreciate the subscription. But yeah. Anyways. Have a good day, everyone. We'll see you next week at the cafe. Bye! -bye.